Hello YouTube, this is Shasko from Stem AP guys, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to continue where we left off, as you remember. We have the, if I do a list here, this is inside my file. You have my implementation file, my header file, my CMake list doc text file, and my main file, my display image file. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this guy, that guy, and that guy, uh, actually this guy, and put them inside the source file. So what I'm going to do is see, I'm going to do move, C main window, C, C main window, H, and display image and then just move it into my source directory. And as you can see, I'm also gonna move the image into source also. And there it is. So in that, in my parent directory, all I have is my that C make list text. Remember, this is a different one. A C make list doc text is different from the one inside the source file. So if we open it, we can see that that one and, and let's actually, let's keep it open here so you know. That one and this one are two different files, right? So you can see they're different. So don't confuse the two. This one right here is inside the parent directory. This one right here is inside the source directory. So don't confuse them, please, or nothing will work. So this is what is in your parent directory, and that's what's go inside your source directory. Okay, so now, very important now. What I'm going to do, I've been getting an error. There's a different ways of doing this. I'm doing it the easy way because it's, just to show you how to do it. Uh, there's another way using directories and saving, and, but it's a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to do a little tweak that it worked for me and it will work for you. Uh, to clear. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy the fluid generated files into the source file and i will I, I will do it after let me do it first without it and you'll see the error that i'm getting so just in case you get that error you will know why you're getting the error so let's do we're ready for compilation so what i'm going to do i'm going to go into the source file and i'm going to do c make and I'm compiling whatever is up in the parent directory. So there it goes. And everything seems right. So these are the ones that he created. He created this guy, he created that guy, and that guy, and so on, right? But, and it also created this extra source directory that that's where I'm putting everything in there including the executable. But if I try to do make now, I'm going to get an error. And this is the error. Because it's looking for the fluid generated file in in the source file. So to make it easy, and for this tutorial, just to make it easy for you guys to follow, I'm going to take the easy route. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to copy everything inside uh actually let's go into let's go up so i'm going to go inside the fluid project directory and i'm going to say copy everything inside and put it up one directory okay so if we go up now one directory there they are so these guys right here. So I'm gonna, I'm just doing a two-step process so you don't get confused. 
So now I'm going to copy again. I did a two-step just for you to follow along and don't get confused because if not, if, it's not going to work. So you're going to copy every... Oh, no, cap, no, don't copy everything. Sorry. Copy this C floor window and copy this C floor window, CP, uh, H, and the FL. The main one that we need is the FL. But I'm just being extra careful and putting everything inside the SRC file. Okay? And now you can remove those, the ones here, so you don't get confused. That's the only reason I'm doing it. And because they're all in the Fluid Project. So that's why I like to keep those in the Fluid Project away from everything, so I always have them. And if I make a mistake, I can always go back and get them. And so in your parent directory, that's all you have. Okay. So now if I go into the source directory, now I have my fluid generated files, which are this one, this one, and that one, and that one. And I have my implementation file that we did in the last tutorial the header file that we did in the last tutorial, and the main file, okay? And then it created this make file, part of the CMake compilation process. Now, if I do make, it should work. So when I do make now, it links with no problem, no errors. And if I go inside the SRC file, the new SRC file, everything should be there. My executable is right there. My user interface library link is there and everything is there. My new make file is there. And those were generated. Everything in that source file was generated by CMake. Remember that. Don't get those two source files confused. And now if I run my program and I click, there's nothing to show. And the reason there's nothing to show is because I got to copy the image that is in, in the parent directory. So it's right there. Lena is right there. So copy Lena and put it in the SRC file. And now when I go back to the SRC file and run it again, now when I click to show the image, it shows the image. Okay? So remember, the image has to be in the same directory of the, exe of the executable. And uh, and then I'm going to we're going to take this and extend it to do more complicated and more complex applications using full tick and using fluid and uh, incorporating the two in through the use of implementation files and the, and the header files linked and wrapped around the fluid generated files. But this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on GitHub and Twitter. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Please have a great day and take care. Take care.